So I think it's important for us to really pay attention to the living and the working together. So one of the questions that we had in our survey had to do with cultural competence um, in the region. And only 30% of our respondents agreed that the MSP area had a strong sense of cultural competence. Culture is very important, and my culture helped to shape who I am. So my upbringing and, and, and my culture very much shaped who I am today. But where it becomes relevant in the workplace is because of that upbringing and because of those cultural tendencies, I have a different style. I have a unique style um, that is different than people who come from a different culture. And so, so it's nice if people understand my culture. And what I've discovered is that people are interested. Um, there's, I, I don't, I've not run into, I've not run into hostility or run into people who are, who are not, who are not wanting to understand things. They just simply haven't been exposed to it. And so they don't know, but, but it's, I guess I'm less concerned or, or feel that there's less need to have people understand my culture as opposed to recognizing that I might have a different style and I might have a different approach and I might have a different way of thinking about something because I was brought up in a different culture and I was brought up with a, with a, different, uh, with a different approach to, uh, to thinking and a different way of interacting with people. Companies can only do so much. Companies can affect what somebody's situation within the workplace is. But the reality is that people, people make a decision about where they want to spend their lives and where they want to invest, uh, invest with their family based not just on what's happening at the, in the workplace, but also what's happening outside. And so as much as happening within the workplace, um, we also have to be able to address people's situations outside of work. And that's why it's important to have those communities and important to have those networks, not just within, within the workplace, but outside as well, because that's what's going to make somebody feel as though they're supported, as though they are connected, as though they have, um, as though they have people who truly understand them. I think at the end of the day, what anybody's looking for, whether it's inside or outside of work, is they want to feel as though they can be themselves. They want to feel as though they don't have to explain what they're doing. Um, they don't have to make an excuse for their approach. They don't have to, um, they don't have to di dissect what they're thinking for somebody else. They just want to know that people get them and they accept them for who they are. So the cultural specific amenities and disparities, basically when we look at that, um, what we're seeing is that there's positive perceptions around broad activities in the region. So there's a lot, a lot of things to do when it comes to like sports activities, um, a lot of restaurants and things like that. But the cultural specific amenities and disparities are places and activities that are specifically geared towards a certain culture. And people um, overwhelmingly felt like that um, that there was some concern about that, that there was a lack of activities um, there around cultural specific activities, a lack of cultural specific amenities where it came to certain types of foods or supplies that were culturally specific, a lack of gathering places, so where um, you can find people that have similar values and similar interests as you, gathering in spaces. Going out um, at times in, in, in the Twin Cities can feel isolating and it doesn't require that anyone intentionally try to exclude you. Yeah, I think it, it's so important to have opportunities to connect with people who share some of the same perspectives and experiences you do. I think it's important to experience uh, some of the great things about living here, whether it's the, you know, 12,000 plus lakes that we have in the state, or the tremendous theater or the food scene, being able to go out and experience those things and not feel like you stick like a sore thumb because you're the only one is really important because then you can just enjoy the space, enjoy the performance, enjoy the food, and not be so painfully aware of the fact that um, you're it.